Today I'm doing a brand new tutorial for you. This is one that is inspired by Shay Mitchell. She posted this picture on her Instagram the other day and I was in love with everything about this. She looks amazing in this picture and the makeup is beautiful. So I was so excited to try and recreate this look and also I owed you guys one more look using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I've really destroyed this thing. <laughs> I've been using it a lot. So this entire eye look is using is using just this one palette. Okay, before we get into the tutorial, huge giveaway announcement. I'm gonna be doing giveaways for my next few videos. Starting with today, I'm doing a huge $500 makeup giveaway. So I'm giving away $500 worth of makeup. Super easy, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel. That's it, so if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna be announcing the winner in one week. All the details will be below and let's get into this look. Okay, before we get into the makeup, I'm gonna do a full skin prep because I've been feeling like my skin has been feeling a little bit like, ever since I started to lose my tan, I feel like my skin has a lot of dry patches, so we're gonna deal with that. First up is a brand new product that I discovered not too long ago. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Cleansing Balm, I've never heard of that concept before. Basically, it literally looks just like a balm and it's really greasy and you use it to take off all your makeup and I've never used a product like this before and you guys, I'm telling you, I just slather this stuff all over my face and it takes any trace of makeup off. Obviously, I don't really have makeup on right now, but I just wanted to show you and it feels so nice on the skin. So I use this first before I do anything else just to get rid of any traces of makeup. So you apply this all over and then you rinse it off with water. All right, so that has been rinsed off. Next up, it's time for a mask, which is really important for getting that smooth surface on the skin. And the mask that I'm using today is the Origins Ritually Tea Mind Over Mana Mask. This is brand new. It's part of the first tea-based collection from Origins. So the way you wanna use it is you wanna add equal parts of the powder mask to water, blend it together, and then apply it onto your skin. It's inspired by the tea rituals from all around the world. There's four masks and four body masks in the collection, and Origins sent me a few to try out, and this one was my favorite. The key ingredient Yerbe Mate and Citrus really help clarify the skin, keep it looking vibrant and smooth, and the citrus revives the senses. If you guys are interested in getting the Ritual Tea, I've included a link below, and you can also get it at Origin Stores. The last step I want to do before I get into the makeup, I'm using the Enlight Super Face Wake Up Eyes Cooling Eye Invigorator. <laughs> The reason I love this particular eye cream is because it has these like little metal balls on the tip and that actually feels so nice because it's cold. So you apply that under your eyes, it massages that area, feels really nice. Alright, let's start the makeup. So the last time I used the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, I was saying how I could have done so many different looks with this palette, and I did one, and I promised you guys that I would do another one, and that's what we're doing today. <laughs> my last video, my everyday makeup look using this palette, it's probably one of my favorite looks I've ever done. I'm gonna link it for you guys right here. Look at her makeup, guys. I die. She looks so beautiful, this whole picture, everything. I'm gonna try to copy that pose in the thumbnail. I'm gonna start off by applying a base. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. For any eye makeup look, I know there's some makeup artists that never use primer. I do not know how they do it. I don't think I've ever done a makeup look without primer because every time I do skip primer, it never looks good. It always disappears, the makeup doesn't blend properly or it doesn't stick, so so eye primer for me is absolute must. I'm going in with this mid-tone color right here. 
That is my crease color, applying it all over my crease. This is a nice smoky look, so I'm not even going to be like super careful with it. One of my girlfriends, one of my best friends actually, she loves makeup, but she's not super comfortable doing makeup. So I was telling her, she's like, I need some makeup ideas. And I was telling her, well, why don't you watch my tutorials? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> so she's like, well, I actually screenshotted a couple of makeup looks that I really like. And I was shocked because I was like, I didn't even know that she did that because she's not like a total makeup girl. So anyway, so she sent me the looks and I realized that I can recreate this look for her in one of my videos, but I have to keep it really simple so she'll be feel comfortable recreating it herself. So when I was filming this video today, I realized I need to do that with today's video as well. I wanna keep it simple so you guys feel like you can do this. Not that you guys aren't makeup experts. I'm sure out of all of the YouTube subscribers, I feel like my subscribers are probably some of the most experienced makeup girls because you guys like it when I do the intense looks. Still using that same color, just going in with a different brush. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep this look as simple as possible so anyone can recreate it, including my one of my best friends, Jennifer. <laughs> She's gonna feel really happy that I mentioned her because I really don't ever mention her in my videos. <laughs> She's not like a makeup makeup girl. Even though she does love makeup. Next up, I'm going in with this beautiful chocolate brown. This is a great color and this is gonna look so good on. And I'm patting this all over my lid and making sure that I'm covering the entire lid from corner to corner and then working this color up to my crease. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I recently went to Morocco, which was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I just posted a video that I'm gonna link for you guys right here, showing you all of my trip. I really hope you guys go check this video out because it was so special. It was one of the most memorable experiences I've ever had. I've traveled around the world and I've been to a lot of cities, but there was something about Morocco that really held a special place in my heart. And I got to meet a few of my subscribers, which was awesome. So I'm going in now with that smaller brush. Blending out the edge of that shadow. So yes, if you guys get a chance, go check out my Morocco video. Leave me a comment. So now that I've kind of done the first layer, I'm going back and adding a bit more. You do need to be careful with this process. You don't wanna go crazy with it. So apply and then really gently blend. You can see it already looks pretty blended from the first time, so we don't wanna to go too overboard on this part. I've had several people ask me if I speak Arabic and even the girls that I met in Morocco, they were surprised when I told them that I spoke Arabic because Yes, I definitely speak Arabic. I understand Arabic, I speak Arabic very well, but I do get shy <laughs> because I don't get to use it that often anymore. I used to obviously speak it all the time when I lived at home, but we're gonna do a little bit of that same color, the lower lash line. Next up, I'm using this copper brown pencil from Pixie. I love the texture of this pencil. It has like this really beautiful golden tint to it. And when you're applying this, you're getting it in your actual waterline, not along your, your lower lash line. You're getting it in your waterline to make that color dark because we are doing quite dark shadow on the lower lash line. I'm using the lightest color from the palette, this nude shadow, to blend out underneath my brows and the inner corner. So I'm gonna take my Fix Plus, spray my brush, 
And then I'm going in with a mix of these three shimmer shadows, all three of them. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. You want to make sure your brush is wet so you get that effect with the shadows. So if you start to feel like it's getting dry, make sure you add a bit more water or fix plus. And now I'm going in with that lightest shimmer color, just like right dead center. And you want to do this with a flat, oh my god, this is so pretty. You want to do this with a flat brush, so you could actually kind of push the product on to your lid. Jen, if you end up watching this, I really hope you can recreate this tutorial. I know I was trying to keep it simple, I, I still think this is simple, <laughs> but I hope you don't find this complicated. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going in with the lightest of the shimmery shadows, which I think is like the nicest part of this look. I am going to add lashes. I really hope the lashes don't take away from this. I'm going to add a bit of just the black shadow. Yeah, perfect. Okay, also, Jen, one more thing. <laughs> Jen and all of you out there, but I guess I'm trying to think, like, what would Jen do? And Jen would probably maybe not want the bottom to be so thick because of her eye shape. So if you guys don't want the lower lash line, the shadow on the lower lash line to be as thick, you definitely don't have to. I am using a pretty thick brush, and that's why I'm getting this effect. You could use a very, very thin brush, like an angle brush, and just wipe, like sweep the shadow underneath, and it will be a much thinner line underneath. So keep that in mind. I really hope she watches this video. We're gonna do a tiny little pop of that really light shimmery color, one that I kind of destroyed, this one right here, in the inner corner. Actually, you guys might know Jen, because if you follow me on Snapchat, she's usually on my snap. She owns a, her own handbag line, and I've mentioned, I always post pictures of it on my Instagram. I'm gonna link it for you guys below. If you're looking for amazing, gorgeous, beautiful handbags, she designs all of them herself. For the lashes, I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. So I've actually decided to double stack these lashes. So I'm using two pairs on each eye of the Ardell Demis. You absolutely do not have to do this, but I felt like I wanted more of a lash look, so that's what I did. And if you guys are new to applying lashes, I have a video on it and I'm gonna link it for you. You can go check that out as well. I'm gonna use a very thin felt liner. I'm using this one from Sephora just to cover up the base of my lashes and that's really all I'm trying to do with this. I'm starting off with a bit of primer for my skin. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Light. To be honest with you guys, I don't think I like these lashes right now. I'm not, I don't know, this looks really off. I'm gonna leave it till the end. If I hate the lashes still till the end, then I'm gonna switch it up. We'll just keep going for now. So the, what I wanted to ask you guys, this is something that I've been working on for a while now and I really wanted to get your feedback. Even though I love beauty and makeup and all of these things, I'm also really into basically anything that's kind of like girl power. <laughs> so I came up with this idea of having a series where I interview girls, mainly beauty influencers, but it doesn't have to be beauty influencers. It can be pretty much any girls that are doing amazing things, that are kicking ass, that are like total girl bosses. 
and to interview them, to sit down and talk to them about just to hear the story. How did they get to where they where they are? How how have they been successful? And that kind of stuff really inspires me. So I was thinking maybe that might inspire other people. So my question to you guys is, is this something you would be interested in watching on my channel? I already have a list of girls that I want to interview and there's some of my favorite beauty girls on YouTube and of course I would love to get your feedback if you guys think this is a good idea and who you would want to see uh, like a sit down really intimate conversation with which beauty girl you love and it doesn't even have to be a beauty girl it could be anyone the sky's the limit really Actually, I completely forgot to tell you what you guys what I'm doing. Makeup Rubber Ultra HD, you guys know the usual. And then the NARS, the NARS concealer. I'm really hating these lashes. I like, I don't know, I don't know. I had to switch the lashes. I was hating the other ones. I'm switching to these ones. Vegas Nay Shining Star. And this looks so much better. I just love, the other ones were like so spiky. I don't even know what was happening. But this looks nice and full. Different lashes give you a different effect. <laughs> that was really stressful. Night and day, I can't believe how much difference that made. So, all right, moving on. I'm just setting everything with a little bit of loose powder. If you guys think this is a good video idea, then I need, I need you to help me come up with a name for it. So there's a couple of name ideas that I had and I don't really love any of them. Taking a bit of bronzer, this is the MAC bronzer. I'll list everything that I've used below for you guys so you guys can check it out. Okay, so here we go. These are the names that I have. I need you guys to tell me if they all suck, if there's any that you like, or if you have better suggestions, please let me know. All the names that I've come up with are not very good. So here we go. So these are the names I came up with for the series. Um, they are Girl Boss Takeover, Girl Boss Uncensored, um, Boss Girls, Boss Up. Now that I'm hearing these out loud, they're not very good. But the whole idea of the show is basically talking to girl bosses that are like strong independent females that have like amazing stories to share so i was trying to figure out a name that encompasses all of that girl boss takeover i don't know i need your help if you guys think this is a good idea we need to come up with a name and i would love to get any ideas that you guys might have please leave them for me in the comments even if you don't think it's great, just leave it anyways, because it might be great. So I've gone ahead and filled in my eyebrows. For blush, I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. If there's an idea that you guys have for the show that could be added to it or to make the show better, please let me know as well, because I'm totally open to it. All I want is to just create something that's like really inspiring. That's the type of, that's what I like to watch. I love watching interviews of girls like, you know, Sofia Amorosa, who's like the ultimate girl boss. It's just like anyone who's like doing like, who's like super successful and like that type of vibe. I love watching that. So I thought, well, maybe why not create that type of content myself? So that is the whole idea behind it. So I'm starting off with a lip liner from MAC. This is called Barbecue. It's kind of this brownie tone. Hoping this is not discontinued. I'm not too sure. I like to kind of smudge the liner around so it's not a harsh line. But the lipstick that I'm using is this color from NYX and it is called Tan Line. I feel like I have been wearing so many matte lipsticks lately, so 
fact that this isn't matte is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Lastly, I'm adding another color from NYX. This is the Intense Butter Gloss in Coco no, Cookie Cookie Butter. Okay, so <laughs> I haven't worn gloss in so long that I actually forgot how crazy it makes my lips look. Not a fan of this glossy vibe, but this is what Shay was wearing, so I'm going to leave it. If it was up to me, I would make this matte, but I've been doing that a lot in my videos lately, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. This is it, the final look. Thank you so much, I hope you guys love it. Make sure you leave me a comment below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you wanna see more tutorials, and you can check out my Morocco video right here. And that's it, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.